Okay, guys, this is a test on running my quality again. Um, hopefully it works well. I don't know if it fully will, but here's the test. I'm going as high settings as I can. Um, okay, so it's not battling my CPU at all. So that's very impressive. Um, let's actually... Let me quit and actually run it on... A new game so we can get all the uh, all the things cuz sorry if my was if I was pretty loud for a sec this is my first time I play this game a lot but I want to run it for you guys not on stream but on cam that way you can see let's uh, blur v-sync all right it's on all the best settings I'm giving you all the best stuff and hopefully you guys like this There's no feeling more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you won some money at the casino and then put all your winnings on red but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. And don't worry, I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. In a certain way, Sexy Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts, and it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. And that act of climbing, in the digital world or in real life, has certain essential properties that give the game its flavour. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly, in danger of falling and losing everything. Anyway, when you start sexy hiking, you're standing next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. It might take you an hour to get over that tree, and a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most of Obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. In that sense, every pixelated obstacle in Sexy Hiking is real. The obstacles in Sexy Hiking are unyielding, and that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this mountain. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as a player rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them, and it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. 
Okay. When you're building a video game world, you're building with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to harden and set until they're immutable, like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. And freaking... Come on. Okay, come on. Oh my god. Come <laughs> on, bro. Give me a sec, y'all. This is like the freaking hardest part for me. Just getting up these lanterns. Oh my god. I'm gonna lower the thing. That right there. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. And you can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture, B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. There's 3D models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, Scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned snuff scenes on Live Leak, Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed GIFs, Russian dashcam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. Everything's fresh for about six seconds, until some newer thing beckons and we hit refresh. And there's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, out of sight. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just gets piled up in the landfill, filed in with the bland things?
Oh, you just lost a lot of progress. That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. <sighs> I love this game, but I hate how my desk is. Oh my god. Oof, sorry about that. When games were new, they wanted a lot from you. Daunting you, taunting you, resetting and delaying you. Players played stoically. Now everyone's turned off by that. They want to burn through it quickly. A quick fix for the fickle. Some tricks for the clicks of the feckless. But that's not you. You're an acrobat. You could swallow a baseball bat. And it, you are nasty. Now I know, most likely you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, while some dude with 10 million views does it for you. Like a baby bird being fed chewed up food. That's culture too. Bennett, I know you're cool, but... But on the off chance that you're playing this, what I'm saying is, trash is disposable, but maybe it doesn't have to be approachable. What's the feeling like? Are you stressed? I guess you don't hate it if you got this far. Feeling frustrated? It's underrated. An orange is sweet, juicy fruit locked inside a bitter peel. That's not how I feel about a challenge. I only want the bitterness. It's coffee. It's grapefruit. It's licorice. I was watching the licorice she was talking about was black licorice. Just try. Rose. Oh, that was really freaking close.
No. Oh, no! Oh, it happened again. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. That's what I hate about it. orange. You know. Okay. <laughs> Peel. Once I can make it up to that freaking. Oh, no, this thing that we call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. I hate. <laughs> oh, I could have just made a freaking bitter esque statement. I would have just laughed. Like a freaking Corella Deville. I hate children. <laughs> okay, come the on. soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. <laughs> The pain I feel now is the happiness I had before. That's the deal. C.S. Lewis. Oh, God, fuck it. Just go the other way. I feel oh within me a peace above all earthly dignities, a still and quiet. Oh my God! At conscience, William Shakespeare. 
Like I said, that staircase always fucking gets me. You cannot now believe that you will ever feel better. But this is not true. You're sure to be happy again. And knowing this, truly believing it, will make you less miserable now. Abraham Lincoln. Uh, let me just get used to this freaking sensitivity. I lowered it again because I freaking am sick of slipping on I no surfaces. Uh, uh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think I got this. This staircase still pisses me off. Though. Once I get to the first top of it, that's when I'm freaking. Mm. Oh my god! I'm out! Oh. oh, you stupid son of a bitch. I left my life behind and now I'm screwed. The pooch. Son of a bitch. We can get some water down my throat because I need to calm down before I freaking fuck this up. Freaking Elgato cord was connected and I was bumping my leg. Alright, come on. The ante. No! Are you freaking kidding me? No, bro. Oh. 
Do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Mary Fry. Oh, I'm not freaking To not... live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. <sighs> Friedrich Nietzsche. Life is a mosaic of pleasure and pain. Grief is an interval between two moments of joy. Peace is the interlude between two wars. You have no rose without a thorn. The diligent picker will avoid the pricks and gather the flower. Shut up, Satya Benny. Sai Baba. I love you, Bennett, but shut up right now. I need to get this freaking game going for me. He knows that this part is freaking troubling for me. I just, I hate it. Yeah, I can do it, but it's really freaking dumb with that staircase. See, thank God for my freaking reflexes. It's even more freaking. Come on. Come on. Dude, no. All right, come on, come on. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> That's how I feel about Fortnite. Son of a bitch. Help me, help me, help me. Lifeline. I would love to freaking get a save point right here. You just give me a checkpoint, and I could beat the game. If I had the opportunity to just start from here every time. Because the rest of the game is not as hard, but this was just fucking god awful. If I could spawn here right now, every freaking time I played this game, I would win so many Oh, god. Okay, okay. Focus, Matt. Focus. Freaking give me some ability to save game. down here. Alright, 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 alright. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. No, 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 no. I know you're doing this, Bennett. Bennett, listen to me, buddy. I am not fucking dealing with your shit today. Don't care. You're gonna freaking be better than me, but just let me freaking get a taste of the action. Keep me at that angle. I breathe. Okay, whoa. Dance. 
No, no, no. Sorrow is my own. No, dude. With the grass flames as it has dude. flamed often before, but not with the cold fire that closes round me this year. William Carlos Williams. Dude. God fucking damn it. Told you that freaking part. That hand. It's so freaking stupid. I'm gonna give it a few more tries. I can't. That was the freaking farthest I made it, but that hand. He knows. He's taunting me. No, boy. I ain't freaking dealing with your shit today, bro. There we go. Ah, okay. Hey, little boy, look at little boy. I don't want to fuck that shit up. Oh my god! Fucking damn it! Oh my stupid fucking god! Oh my god! Freaking grapple it. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucking stressing me out. Alright, give me a sec, I'll be back. Oh. Hey, you awake? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Stupid. Oh my god. This fucking donkey shit. Bro, my goddamn motherfuckers. I. Oh my god. Shit. Okay, I'm about to call someone so they can help me with my friggin' stupid brain right now. Oh, donkey, 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 shit. Give me a sec. Mm, come on, bitch. Come on. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, big dick. Big dick. No, 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 no. Okay, give me a second. You can da 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 da. I need a vacation. I need a... Go on Discord, call America. Give me a sec. Hi. Can you hear me? Give me, yeah, give me one second. Oh, this game is killing me right now. Oh. I love it, but goddamn, it hates me so much. Dick, dick, I will fucking kill you, bro. No, no, oh, come on. Let's <laughs> live that fucking dick. Kill this guy. Kill it, bitch. You ain't fucking going. No, no, no. Hold up. Erica, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Just give me one sec. <sighs> I'm back. Hi. Oh god, this is killing me. I'm playing the game Get Over It and it's fucking deadly. Oh no, it's deadly as fuck. <laughs> it hates me. Hi. You still here, Erica? Yeah. Just have my burnt nicotine that I can barely even hit. Ready? Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you still friends can you with? Can hear me? Are you still friends with Shiro? Yeah, kinda. I feel bad for you. Talia, I talked. Remember how we had Talia join that party with me, you, Axel, and then. I was playing Modern Warfare. Dick! Of all sad words, oh, tongue fucking. or pen, the God. saddest of these. Wow. Might have been. This game John fucking hates Greenleaf me. Video. I hate you. I hate you, fucking Bennett. You're such a fucking taint. Oh, you fucking cunt. I had it. Just fucking had to deal with that stupid fuck. No, 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 no. I hate this. Dick, 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 Grayson, dick, Grayson, dick, Grayson. Alright, oh my god. Mm. 
Are him and Talia dating? Uh, I think it's Marley and Talia. Marley and Talia broke up, and Talia told me when she got pregnant, don't tell Shiro, so I'm like... Talia, I swear, girl, if you're dating Shiro, you are really freaking become dumb. Shiro is the biggest player of all time. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. That's kind of how I met my lady friend. Well, one of the ways that I freaking showed her how I don't take shit from bastards. This guy freaking Shiro tried cheating on his girlfriend with you and a bunch of other girls, so I told his girlfriend. Girlfriend fucking couldn't handle it. She unfriended me. I don't know what she did, but... You'll be back here again and again. Avenge and repent mm -hmm. until you've ascended. Or until you're contented. Richard, Grayson. Sorry, I'm just like highlighting right now. It's like, highlight every important thing. That's literally the entire book at this point. I hate reading. You, no, let me tell you. You highlight every single detail about the character, every suspicious thing, everything you find interesting, and every interesting, suspicious thing in general. <sighs> Literally, you just highlight the entire book, except for, like, a few sentences. Is it a murder or a mystery yeah. book? Yeah. It's a murder mystery. It's in Then There Were dick, None. Dick, dick, No, shit. It's actually a pretty good book. One of the characters talks about how they ran over twins That's with fun. their car. It was really funny. Uh, I bet he got a kick out of it. It was a guy, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah, guys like hitting they people. They all... It's like they're all there. And mine is like they made a huge mistake in life. I love this game. And I enjoy watching other people fail at it, but yo, oh, does it burn my soul watching me fail at it? Damn. It's called Getting Over It by Bennett Foddy, and it fucking stings my dick. Oh, did you did you end up talking to Jack again? No. Yeah, I really hope you try and avoid people like Jack and freaking Shiro because you know why? They're always trying to get some ass by anyone, and Jack still calls me a freaking thirst, and it annoys the shit out of me. You know? Look at bloop. I drew on it. <laughs> you didn't turn on your camera, did you? I did. Oh. I don't even know where my- where the hell is my mouse? Oh my god. Okay. This game is fucking killing the shit out of me. But Erica. Literally, I just draw a huge line down the entire page if the entire page is important. I'm not highlighting the entire thing. Okay. Philip Brooks. So, Erica. So, those girls haven't commented on your page in a while. What girl? Oh, yeah. I blocked them. Oh. I, it was funny. Yeah, but I told my girlfriend that I enjoyed watching you insult them, and you're just like, why don't you just block them? And I just said, I'm seeing as I care more about her than I do about insulting them, I freaking just did that. <gasps> Did you try to please audiences, oh. uncritically accepting oh. their tastes, it can oh. only mean that you have no respect for them. Andre Tarkovsky. I am a fucking piece of shit. I am gay. I am going to hell. And I will never get laid. Bennett, Bennett, you have fucking cursed me, and I love you for it. So I will never get any of my dreams accomplished till Bennett freaking takes me to hell. Oh shit. Have you ever heard of getting over it? 
Yeah. Wanna see what I did? Sure. You drew on your leg. Why do you do that? I'm literally so bored. No, no, <laughs> cursed. I am cursed. Oh, Bennett, you fucking dick! I'm gonna fucking cut your fucking throat off, you fucking dick! I love this game. It it's awesome, but it hates me. I'm gonna feel like this when I play Cuphead. Oh, you're playing that game. No, no, I'm playing Getting Over It, but I'm gonna eventually Yeah, that Cuphead. Getting Over It, this way, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I literally keep getting sent back to the same exact checkpoint, and I just fucking keep beating it. But this one part, I... Once I get past this one part, Don't I'm gonna... go down the snake. Don't... I know, I know, I, I know. I just... I know how to beat the game. I just... I get stuck on this one part with the stairs! And I can beat it, and I'm up on the stairs now, but then I can't get up this small mountain. And once I do get up it, I can't get my whole hand on the hand. And when I get on the hand, it freaking gives me so much momentum where it sends me into the back. <gasps> no, you fucking taint! <laughs> this is actually freaking malaria. I needed someone to talk to, and my girlfriend is still asleep. <laughs> God damn. He jerked out. <sighs> under the table. Shit. That's literally I, what it says. Under the turbo under the table is where shit gets done. <sighs> Eric, you have GTA, right? Yeah. How many characters have you created? Only one. Okay, please tell me you made it based off of you. It's a female. What'd you do with it? Erica. Hold on. Oh, God. Come on, no, you Don't fuck. hate the player. I have to hate the game. This. Ice tea. Fuck Ooh. you, Benny! Fucking narrate me all because you get a Page fucking... 87 out of 200. When to the sessions like of Sweet 46. Silent Thought, I summon up remembrance of things past. I sigh the lack of many a thing I sought, and with old woes new, wail my dear time's waste. William Shakespeare, Sonnet 30. I don't care about William Shakespeare, Bennett. I just want to see you fucking die right now. Aww. Wait, hold on. Shut up, man. Dick. I'm telling you when to talk. Oops. God damn it. Mom! I need you for a sec. Cool, Mom. I had my soda right by me. I need to pause the computer and it's spilled. 
Well, it didn't get on anything, and I need to write my I need to write my annotations. Jesus, can you get like spray, like the what's it called? Whatever cleaning spray we use. Yeah, I don't know what it's called. Rather just wash the sheets in a little bit. Yeah, but then I have to take them all off. I know. I'll just... Um... So spray's not... Spray will get in your skin. Yeah, but I just finished all my work. I'm waiting till my math teacher's hours open. Till I can do more. What about... Yeah, I read. Okay. And I'm right now responding to... Patience is the foundation um, of eternal peace. Make anger your enemy. Harm comes to those who know only victory and do not know defeat. Um, Find fault with yourself and not with others. It's in falling short of your own goals that you'll surpass those who exceed theirs. Tokugawa Ieyasu. I said be on my phone because if I didn't say that, they'd just be like, you're making up an excuse. And I told some my uh, math teacher I couldn't, like, some days I didn't get out of bed, because that is true. Mm-hmm. And then he said, Erica, sorry you're depressed. You have someone to help. Make sure you keep in contact with school, Mr. T. Okay. What do I say to that? I have someone. I will. Thank you. Yeah, just say I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a doctor. I'm going to say I have two doctors. Well, right now you I know. One. I'm just going to oh, say, Matt, here, repeat what you said. Hi, Eric, it's mom. I hear you're really cool. Hi. Oh, yeah. I'm always like, oh, I hate my dad. My mom's okay, so sh- cool. Sh- it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm normal people. I seen you on her Instagram. Yeah, apparently, you're the coolest mom. Okay. I don't know. That's what she ta- captioned you as when I commented. Okay. Pretty cool mom. Oh, yeah. I took a Snapchat, and they said the coolest mom. Uh, do you want a towel or something? Because I'll do that. Uh, yes, please. But this is my friend Matt. He is from which state again? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. I got this. I got this now. Come on, bed. We can Her friend on. Julie just moved there. Come on. on Bennett. Okay, no. Ooh, Bennett. So you don't Almost get wet down. from your soda. Come on. And I'll wash your sheets later. Would it be yes, comma, I have two professionals to talk to, comma? And then would no, I say no. thank yes, you? Comma, oh my god. I just have to talk to, period. But what if I say thank you? Would I put a semicolon? I don't know who at the school, though. It's just a random person. Who's the random person? It's one of the TA people from the yes. same class. The fact that they said, sorry, you're depressed, do you have some It feels like help? we're closer now. They're Composer not. and climber, designer and user. I know. You could I have refused, but you Leo. didn't. There was something in you that was hidden Zoom that chose to continue. Okay, Probably to for her. tomorrow. All right, Maybe to today. Oh my god. I am fucking epic. I love you, Matt. Yeah, I just want to make sure that my grammar is correct. Because that way I sound a bit more... Oh, I don't throw my chocolate wrappers in there because of the dog. I just wait till I go out to the kitchen next. Come on, come on. Come on, Bennett. Come on. Dig, dig, dig. Still got this. Still got this, Richard. I love it. I fucking finally got past that mountain. So afraid. Isn't there, like, no saving point? Uh, yeah. No saving point. And fucking 100% checkpoint. Uh, no, 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 no. I actually got to a part to where I don't have to worry 100% about freaking falling a little bit because I'm a little bit away from the cliffside now. So now if I fall a little bit, I can just climb a little. I freaking did so much work while you were talking. Oh my god. Erica, I hate myself, but damn. I was fucking sexy for a second. Well, no. 100%. Come on. Come on, Matt. You fucking got this. You know, usually pretty, but damn, you're gonna fucking be a sexy boy for this fucking game. Come on. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. 
Come on. Come on, bro. I know you got this in you. I know you're gonna fucking beat Mark's record. Mark took so long to get this done. You can beat him in one fucking day. Dick. Dick. I typed a Microsoft record and I nearly sent it. Oh my god. It's a Listen, Microsoft this call. is a little awkward, Whenever but people are talking you've clicked me, the mouse button like 500 paying times attention to them and what I'm, I'm doing, say you're gripping the mouse a little bit I'm doing. Like, I'll be talking to someone and I'll be like, yeah, that's cool. And instead of typing like, and that's how that happened. I'll be like, and that's how, yeah, that's cool. And I'm like, oh wait, can't send that. And my teachers, sometimes I do that in my emails, and they send, like, a question mark. I'm like, oh, sorry, I was talking to someone when I was typing that. I'll say my mom, just so I sound a bit more serious, but... Oh my god, Erica. I love Bennett Fadi. He just did something that we just learned in Java. He did something where, in code, there's a feature where you call mouse press, where if you press the mouse down, something happens. So I'm pretty sure he made a freaking extreme code. You there? Okay, so wait, what was I saying? Shit, I'm. I am fucking mind blanked. What was I saying? All I remember is that I said if I beat this in one day, we can be epic. Wait, Erica, what was the last thing I said to you? I don't know, I'm really focused on this email right now. I have no clue. I did hear you say that right as I was talking about it. Mom! I have one last grammar question. So I put, I was told there are only two weeks left, comma, is that true, question mark? Would it be a comma or a semicolon? Yeah, I'm not sure. It, I think it probably is. The next comma. sentence is, please help if you can, even if it's just someone to talk to, period. Oh my god, Erica. You realize this might be too little too late, but give it your all and see what happens. Okay, just sent it. My science teacher responded. Let me Alrighty. see. Good, was worried. What do I say? Thanks for the concern. I'll be fine. I'm talking to my parents. Or do I just not respond? Well, just let them know you have somebody professional. Yeah, I did. Then nothing else. I just want to say, like, thanks for your concern. That's fine. Thank you for your concern. Okay. Yo, Erica. Yeah. Hold this game. On. This game is giving me more brain cells than I've had in a while. Actually, using my brain to freaking figure out how to do it. I fucking have to beat it today. This is the time. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. But yeah, I remember what I was talking about. Because this game fixed some of my memory. I was talking about Java.
No. <laughs> So, Erica. Yeah, sorry. I was sending out an email. Okay, I'm gonna pop the pimple on the camera. Oh my god, you crazy. Okay, never mind. It's too hard to pop. It's gonna be gross. I need to do it on Snapchat. <sighs> So, this guy on the thing, he turned, it's, he's said, uh, the narrator, he said, I pressed the mouse button about 500 times, so I learned in Java recently that if you press the mouse, then you can make a thing in processing called voice mouse pressed, and it activates something. So I think he probably did some really cool code where he did a counter, and then he said, probably did an if statement, or so it said, if mouse is pressed uh, X amount of times, Audio says, I've noticed you pressed your mouse button really. Oh, I know what kind of audio and no, no. Um, thing you're talking about. He has a narrator, so it's basically just. I'm He's learning... using uh, ABC code. ABC code? It's, uh, that's the nickname for it. It's, uh, it's like, that's like meaning like basic code. Like. Mm. He did so it would be like if you looked in the game code, it would be if this activates, then do this or yeah, if, have the game if say LF this. LF statement. I've been playing this game. Freaking it means a lot to me that you've come this far, hour. endured this much. Every wisecrack, every insensitivity, every setback you've forgiven me is a kingly gift that you've given me. So Erica, how's your honey doing? My honey? <laughs> yeah, your BF. Oh, we broke up. I cheated on him. He found out. My what? husband snitched me out. You? He never paid attention to me. That's gonna happen. That's why you gotta make sure that you pay attention to your girlfriend. I talk to her every day. Like, if it's long distance... <gasps> Is it long distance? Yeah, I'm seeing her this summer. We have the same taste. Okay. You and good. I. Oh my god. Um, it's not ambition. If you don't, like, it's ambition's opposite. We were, an obdurate like, mission like, to taste the defeat. Like, he lived, like, 15 You'll feel away. bad we if you even, win. Like, so me. I put this snake in for you. Give me a sec. I'm at the part with the snake. I made it so far to the part where Markiplier freaking took all of his streams to get to, and I made it in one day. I'm fucking epic. Fuck you, Mark. I'm kidding. I love you, Mark, but shit, am I better than you? No. It's just really crazy because I never thought that I'd actually make it. But it, how, how did you cheat on him? Did you cheat? How did you cheat? I'm joking. What do you. Oh, um. Remember how I went on that bender for like nine days? Bender? You that? get drunk, like you're always drunk or high, like uh, constant. Okay. I guess. Literally, it's like normally they last like two days, but it's where you're constantly drinking, so you're always drunk. So, like, what did you do? Did you fuck someone? Um, I was high, drunk, on drugs, and on like. A weird opioid ripoff, and I thought, "Oh, this is completely reasonable. Like, what, yeah, you, I what, shouldn't have done it." What'd you do? At the same time, I was on drugs. Like, you kind of gotta give me an excuse. What'd you do? That's also why I don't take ripoff pills. They're called cousin pills. Like, are you changing? I'm gonna use acid as an example. Acid has a cousin pill, 
in this case, this isn't a good example because it actually hurts your body. Like, if you take oh. even two, it really hurts your stomach. Um, Erico. But they're called cousin drugs. So they're made with the, like, for instance, the cousin drug of acid is, like, the coating of it. The thing, like, that coats the paper over that dissolves, that allows it to dissolve in your mouth. That hey. is also a drug. Hey, Erica. Yeah? Were you just changing, bro? Yeah. What the hell? Were you even wearing a bra, question mark? I was. Okay, about to say. I put the camera above, so don't worry. You yeah. Wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Okay, good, bro. Yeah, I know. You don't... Uh, even if you wanted to. <laughs> I wouldn't. De Erica, I'm a civilized person. This gets I'm, more frightening. I'm and yeah, it does. Knuckles and whitening, stomach whitening. I know that you don't want... Once bitten, so many times huh? burned. You have a girlfriend, you wouldn't want it. I would never want to cheat on her. And I'm sure if I was, like, accidentally in view, this would never, ever happen on purpose. But say, like, accidentally you can slightly see my nipple, you'd probably tell me. I'd fucking put my hand up and be like, Erica, bro. Or You're... you'd, like, hang up the phone. I can't hang up. I'm Because you have decency. I would put my hand up to reference, but I wouldn't freaking hang up because... You'd be like, why do you hang up? And then it would take you a few seconds to be like, oh... I'm naked. No, I would wait till I put my shirt on and I'm back. No, no, you'd realize. You'd have a realization. Look at these lighters. Old fashioned. You mean cigarettes? No. It's a lighter. Oh. 1960s. Ah, uh, cigarettes were always so simple back then. I liked it. What is that? Lighter. I still have no clue how to use a lighter. Really? Yeah, I was always afraid of burning myself. Bro, I feel I used to be like that. Everyone's like, oh, no, no, no. like no. people who know me online, like I'm a pothead, not gonna lie. They're like, oh, you probably like played with fire as a kid. Yes, I did. I played with fire as a kid, but I used matches, not lighters. Yeah, I, I just recently learned how to use matches. I was in my science class. And it was fun. Hold up. You feel so powerful with fire in your hands. You do. That's why I like fire. I used to be a pyromaniac. I want to eventually use fire Mom, works. look what I found. Hey, what are you doing on the phone? Can't you do any of my work right now? I'm multitasking, but look at what I found. Yeah, but see how they're dusty? Yeah. And then maybe on Halloween, like, maybe on Halloween, though, we could make some Kool-Aid ones and we could go over to Aunt Crescent's and she could, like, if she's throwing a Halloween party, and we could make a couple and, like, put them in, like, a huge bowl and then put them in the freezer. That'd be cool. Make Kool-Aid and normal ones. Um, I'm going to have a private conversation really quick. Okay. And I'm taking a break. What? So you're leaving the call? I know, but if I, my breaks, if I like sit on my phone, if I sit on my bed, I know that I'm just going to sit there all day. I need to like get outside because whenever I'm outside, I realize how much time is passing. Because like one walk around the block, I realize that's like 30 minutes. You're staying on the phone. Yeah, I'm here. I thought you were telling me that you were having a private conversation. You still here? Yeah. Have you thought about who you are in this? Are you the man in the pot, Diogenes? Are you his hand? Are you the top of his hammer? I think not. Where your hand moves, the hammer may not fall. Nor the I'm man. I'm almost done. Nor the man's hand. I'm and this here is will, his intent, the embodied resolve in his uphill ascent.
Okay, I'm out of the house. Erica, so what What's did my you... phone at? 66, okay. So how did you cheat? Did you fuck someone or did you suck the egg? Yeah, I straight up just fucked him. No. That's really You've what happened. You've conquered the ice cliff. Yeah. The platform. Well, the I don't church, really count it because like it was only for like a minute. Room, like and the factory. Like, really, like, the playground. The construction site. Broke the skin the granite of your rocks vagina. And the lakeside. That counts. You've learned right. to hike. There's no way left well, to go but up. I only in a moment, count I'll shut it up. If, like, but let me say, fucking... I'm glad you came. It like it wasn't even a minute. That's the thing. You only like, count if you get pleasure. Like... No, I only count it if it's more than like a minute or two. If they, if he's inside your vagina, that's fucking intercourse, I recall. I know, but I like. <sighs> If it's in for a split second, are you really gonna say I lost my virginity? Are you... Um. Like, yeah, you technically did. Just about. Did. You I'm... technically did, but only like partly. You well, didn't I mean... really lose it unless you finished. I'd say it in the sense of basically, if you're freaking in 15 seconds and you were going for that, that counts. It might have been shitty freaking sex, but it counts. Bro. I, I, it's if it's an accident and you just freaking accident and you're like ah, I can't get out that's still intercourse but like if you're half a second where you're like oh shit I'm sorry I didn't mean to get my dick in a vagina my body count is te technically three the first guy I lost my virginity to it wasn't my ex it was this dude who used to use me but there's something called second virginities Oh I, <laughs> I no, say no, a second it, virginity it, because he purposely drugged me up so that he would fuck me. Like, he purposely got me fucked up so that he could fuck me. Did he have consent? Did I consent? Yeah. I was on, like, I consented, but literally I couldn't even walk. Like, I was not, if I was sober, there was no way I would have consented to it. That's why. Did you have a good time? Was he good? Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to make it. I don't even it. remember it, dog. I was like basically roofied. Oh shit. Okay, my arms are fucking dying now. Bennett, I see you. I know you want me to eat you. I'm gonna fucking cut your fucking throat. But I love you, Bennett. I freaking am down a little bit on the mountain. I'm at the ice part. I actually freaking got up the ice part. Third attempt. I am freaking better than Markiplier. I am sexy, Matt Hunterman. Mm, yeah. I am cringy as fuck. But hey, I beat you, Bennett. You ain't cursing me no more. And... You're in high school. You're allowed to be. Don't! You fucking cunt, Bennett. You fucking taint. Dick! Give me a sec. Ian, you really aren't. Give me a sec. Give me one sec. I'll call you right back. I gotta call my brother.
Okay, guys. We are Bennett. I can fucking do this shit. Mark, I love you, but you ain't got shit on me today, bro. I'm literally freaking bad at PC gaming, but I was playing Get Over It a little bit today, and just to... <gasps> no! No, 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 no. I was playing it today basically to test my freaking streaming. <gasps> no! She I, smiled I, in defeat with I, unconquerable I, eyes. Atticus. Okay, I'm still doing good. I fell down the mountain. Bro, a bit. sorry, I had to call my mom real quick. You're good. Well, I tried calling my brother first because I wanted to know if he needed anything because I was walking around the neighborhood and he's right now working. Hello! I'm so nice to people when I'm in the neighborhood, but in reality, I'm like, such a bitch. Wait, they don't say hi? No, they say hi. I have to be nice. Why? All these people have seen me get arrested at least twice. And they haven't said shit? No, they they know. Like, they fucking... They think I'm a criminal. They think, like... That you're gonna murder them. Yeah, they think, like, I'm doing cocaine. Hey, you touch my drugs, I'm gonna fuck all of you bitches up. Yeah, they think that's what I'm like. But in reality... I'm not using drugs, I'm using plants. Oh, it's so cringy to this. Okay, technically they're drugs. But... I don't know, I'm, it's basically I'm in an open discussion about weed. Because it's I'm the second safest drug, fun fact. Mushrooms are actually the most natural. Well, I'm basically, I'm not, I don't li enjoy it, freaking marijuana, but I'm sort of open. Wait, you smoked mind. it before? No. I'm probably going to try it once or twice in my lifetime, but... I'm learning Bro, to be more Make acceptable. sure that you do not hit a pen. Make sure you use actual bud. Why? Unless if your lungs are really weak. Because the first time you smoke, if you hit a pen, do you know how sad that is? I don't fucking care. You're not care. using real fucking weed. I don't care. You gotta use real weed. Erica, you got The first time shit. I got high, it was off a pen. And do you know how fake that shit is? Hey, I'm only Do you know marijuana is only supposed to be like 20% THC? And those what? cards are like 100%. Do you know how fake that is? THC That's is why really I don't bad for you. THC? Yeah, it can give you headaches. But it also helps headaches. So, like, if you don't win, have win. An, If you don't have headaches, it'll cause it. But if you do, you're golden. Bro, Bro. I fucking get headaches all the time. And I'll smoke weed. And I just feel so much more better. Even if I don't have a headache, I'll smoke weed. I don't get a headache. It's only if you smoke like 15 times a day. That's being irresponsible. I only smoke like... I just, like right now, right now I, I'm smoking a lot, but that's just because I'm bored. If I ever do use it, it'll be on a low dose because... I'm just not trying to. You get... don't need a lot to get high. If I know, it's but your I'm. First time. You I'm don't just, need to take a lot. I'm just not too into any high. I'm just into basically. If it helps some people that I like cuddle better, then shit. If they are more comfortable around it when they're high, then so be it. Bro, do you know how bad my social anxiety used to be? I used to. Whenever I first got my PlayStation, I would not get on PlayStation parties. I would not. If I did, I'd mute my mic. I'd be one of those people. Yeah, those were really annoying. And then I started smoking weed. I feel so much more open. You're public about like, your weed, right? Yeah, I'm very public about it. Not you, to like if older I ever stream, people. Are, if I ever stream, are you gonna be okay with me with you saying that stuff? If you ever what? If I stream. Stream? Yeah. Am I gonna be okay with you saying it? With you saying all the stuff that you're saying. Oh, I don't fucking care. People I don't understand. It. Like, well, if I ever forget, I have like, you. People in are it. like, people think I only have like my opinion, and I get triggered if someone well, I just doesn't like it. Well, if I people can have their own opinion. If someone doesn't like weed, I'm not gonna like. Yeah, I might say, oh, why, and like I might say, oh, but it does this and that. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna make you like weed. <sighs> Come on, damn it. I, I fucked up on Benny, and now I'm a little bit down the mountain, and now I'm struggling to get back up this snowball. I Ready love for this? 
I'm literally Definitely. almost done. Get it. I have to use a fucking can. Never use a can. If someone offers you to get high if you really want to, and if it's not a pipe, a bong, wraps, or a pen, don't do it. Have you ever heard the song Gimme Shelter? Huh? Have you ever heard the song Gimme Shelter? Possibly. You're wearing a Rolling Stones shirt, that's why I'm asking. Oh, I don't listen to them. This is just something that my sister gave me, and uh, anything that she gives me, I wear. I hate Like, I listen to some of their songs. I'm a... I'm <laughs> I hate a to of... say it, but I'm a fake fan. I'm not a fan of the Rolling Stones. I only like one of their songs, traditionally. And the rest, it's kind I really of... like their logo, that's why. Wait, you like the thing about French kissing? You want to slip no, in that like tongue? No, like the Rolling Stones logo. Yeah, yeah, I just love the logo. It's cool yeah. looking. Yeah, you want to slip in that it's tongue, It's not bro? that I support it. No, you're down with slipping in that tongue. <laughs> No, it's not that it's like that. It just literally looks cool. Like, have you ever seen it where people, like, recolor it, like, neon and shit, and they make it, like, glow in the dark, and then they put a black light over it? Mm-hmm. That shit is cool. I like that. Come on, Bennett. <laughs> Bennett, you're gonna freaking give me an aneurysm. Just get on top of this stupid freaking snow thing buddy like i was at the end but i freaking slipped and thank god i fell the other I'm way i'm gonna start growing my own weed i'm gonna uh, look up how to do it watch pineapple express pineapple express bro you know that's a weed strain right yeah bro that's a great ass strain that was well, one that's... of the first strains i've ever had well that's the name fun of the... fact the movie's no, that about. Is the first I know it's the name of the movie, and the name of the movie is because it's based around that specific scent. That is the first uh, strain I've ever had. Pineapple Express, first strain I've strain? ever ever had. No. It's uh, so there's different strains of weed, so it's hard to explain. You know how there's different flavors of ice cream? Yeah. It's kind of like that, except weed isn't really flavored unless if it's in, like, a cart. Well, it is flavored sometimes, but most of the time... Do you mean just the strength of weed? Well, yeah, there's the strength and also the flavor. Like... <coughs> you're gonna Sorry. get... You're getting yourself lung oh. cancer already. No. Um, that is one side effect. I'm currently effective. coughing because I snorted uh, pills earlier, and like any time I go, the it gets into my throat and it makes me cough. One side effect of smoking weed, it eventually causes lung cancer. You eventually, see, that's one thing that makes me triggered. People the are like, "You're gonna give yourself cancer." You can smoke weed for 20 years and your lungs get slightly damaged. It takes a lot. Yeah, See, if you smoke irresponsibly, if you smoke like 25 times a day... Better to use vapor than the actual smoke. Yeah, but like if you smoke like 25 times a day, you're gonna fucking get lung cancer. If you do it for like multiple years. If you smoke once a day... Like once a day, every single day, let's say for 20 years, your lungs will slightly be damaged. It really isn't that bad. And especially if you're using all natural, if you don't want your lungs to get damaged, eat edibles. There's other stuff. Yeah, you I use do. THC drops. I really just I use it. THC drops sometimes. I had these Select. Select is a dispensary brand. Select THC CBD drops 50-50. And that means it's 50% CBD, 50% THC. I was high as a kite all day. That shit works so well. I used to have CBD oil. I'd use it every single day before school. I get horrible panic attacks at school. Next thing you know, I was perfectly fine. Like, even if you don't support weed, like people who don't support weed, I think like how often do you get? It's like eighty percent of people. No, ninety percent of people who don't support weed support CBD. What is CBD? Marijuana without the marijuana. What does that mean? The, it's, just the effects? It's, it gives you the body effect, but not the mind effect. Yeah, so it calms mean. down your heart rate. It calms you down. But it doesn't make your mind super giggly and shit. Like, you're yeah. just... You're, ab you're sober, but your body's high. Yeah, that's what... And most it's not like prefer. a body high. Like, 
people say body high where like well cbd is probably like, the medical they go like that thing. sometimes as a body high it's not like that there's a seed i'm gonna try to grow it well most people would prefer just the benefits of it rather than getting high yeah just like i honestly my dad getting heard high CBD, he would use it i don't smoke weed to get high i smoke it for the benefits people don't really believe that people are like why don't you just oh, use CBD? That's, that's not true. Yeah, that's what I do. I use CBD at school because I used to smoke at school. I don't smoke at school anymore. I don't. I really don't. I use CBD oil if I am, and I barely even use it at school. Because that way, I still am calm, but my mind isn't going crazy. And if I'm really getting panicky, I'll go up to one of my friends, and I'll ask to have a, like, a split-second hit of their cart. So that way, like, a split-second hit, like, one hit for me doesn't make me high. Like, it just, it's like a CBD effect for me. That's why I'm like, ooh. Come on, <laughs> Bennett. Bennett. And also, don't use carts, because last time I used a cart, last time I owned one, no, second to last time I owned one, I went to the hospital. It was laced with opioids and cocaine. And people are like, oh, you should be able to tell if it's laced if you smoke that much. What is a cart? Cocaine? What color is it? White. The powder? What yeah, color is it? Yeah, it's white. The powder is so small, you can put it in the THC, and you can mix it around really easily. That's why you want to use dispensary. That's why I told you don't use carts. Dispensary? A cart is the exact same thing. It's marijuana. Except you can put it on, like, a pen. So, you're saying dab pens are bad? Dab pens? Dabs are bad for you. Shatter, dabs, that's not good for you. Why is well, that? Well, like, it's not bad for you, but it's not good for you. You know? Mm. What do you mean? It's like, it's like eating McDonald's once a month. Like, it won't cause you health problems, but over time it will. So is dab pens the stuff that has the opioids and the cocaine in it? No. Dab pens is like marijuana, but ten times stronger. It can be that way. It can be like two times. It's normally two times stronger. You said the pens are weaker, though. The Damn. pens? No. Yeah. Marijuana. Actual marijuana is weaker. This is only 20%. I have to smoke four bowls just to get slightly high out of this. And... If I hit a cart, it only takes me two hits because normally it would take me like eight, but I don't use carts anymore because most of them are fake. I'm going to buy a battery soon and I'm going to only buy dispensary, but dispensary, one dispensary cart can cost up to $45. Sometimes they're 85 And it fucking hates me. Do you yeah. know how much money that is just I... to buy yourself weed? And do you know how fast I would go through that cart if I could just... Because they don't smell. Most of them don't smell. I don't like You can hide them easily. Because, bud, I have to keep this shit in a jar, in a closet, in a bag, in another bag, in a suitcase, in a mini suitcase. Like, that shit's nasty. It's because it smells. I don't like the really smell. bad because this is all natural. Oh, I it, love the smell of weed. I, I can't stand it. It's, it's why I hate going to concerts. It freaking grosses me out every time. I love the smell of weed. It's just not my style. I just don't like the smell of it. I prefer the smell of tobacco despite tobacco being nasty too. It's just the smell of cigarettes bother me. I like the smell of campfires. Oh, yes. See, I don't hate the smell of tobacco. It's just, if you are smoking Camelback... What is Camelback? I think that's, that's the brand. It's that's like the Camel. I don't have, know my cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes. Well, you cigarettes. have the lighter. Yeah, I have the lighter, but not the packs, because I don't smoke cigarettes. If you're smoking 40, uh, 47s or Newports, I don't mind the smell. If you're smoking any expensive brand or the one with the Camel... Or the, it starts with blue. If you smoke those, it's nasty and I can't stand the smell and I will walk away.
cigars. I hate the smell of cigars. Like I don't, if I'm with family, I won't walk away because it's rude to walk away from family. If you're in public and if you don't know the people, you can like move seats. It's I'll stomp the bitch. I will stomp the bitch for freaking Bro, smoking in my face. If my if my grandparents still smoked um cigarettes and if I fucking stomp on one of their cigarettes, bro, I would not be alive. Oh no, I wasn't gonna stomp the cigarette, I was gonna stomp the bitch smoking it. Kill the bitch. If I it. did that, uh, kill the grandparents. I would be dead. You kill the grandmother. Eric, what did you do to your grandmother? He just two taps you in the face and you're fucking on the ground. Your daughter killed my wife. I want to. <laughs> what? I want to. Why? Your grandparents are assholes? Literally, I got first place. No, I got second place in this in a really good race. Like, second second to last race. Like No, the race right before city race. What are you I got second track? place. No, this was cross country. I got second place out of all of this, out of all the grade levels, second place, and I beat my time. And they said, oh, you did so well. And I'm like, wait, really? You're proud? They're like, well, we would be if you would have gotten first place. That's fucking cruel. They're like, second place is first loser. You know that, right? That's so my dad. I, I was raised very competitive. Like, if someone is, like, jogging with me, I start to sprint because I need to be in front. I'm very competitive. I was like that with s stupid school things, but I didn't, like, freaking... I didn't care about freaking sports. Sports. Playing tag, I have to win. I, Playing heads up, seven up, I have to win. If I don't, I get salty. And I'm like, whatever, they were cheating. <laughs> even if they weren't. I just don't I'm sport. willing to cheat a little bit. Like, in track, like, I would, like, you know, like, mix, like, I would purposely register. Your failure at here the is a metaphor. Time. I would register to learn for super what? early. So Please that, resume climbing. Wrong no, I'd Dublin. register super late on purpose. So I, that... Depending what the race is, if it was like a sprint race, that way I would get the last lane, so I'd be furthest up. Because I can run long distances, so it doesn't bother me if it's a longer distance. I just need to be ahead of everyone. And if it was something like the mile, where everyone starts on one line instead of a waterfall effect, if it isn't like that, if it's just like this... I'd purposely go earlier. Like, I would, I was really like that. What, because you're bad? No, I'm, you I would, have, You would go earlier because you were I have a six-minute mile. That's actually pretty good. That was my freshman year mile. I made, uh, state my freshman year. Like seven or eight minutes. I was on varsity. I'm not a fan of exercise. I just like being in shape. I freaking almost missed my best one day. I was in day. such good shape. I could literally run for like three hours straight because I know how to pace myself. Then why don't you go and find a good man to have sex with you and last long with him? Because every man doesn't last long with me. Why? What do you mean? Because I don't masturbate. Like every girl over here masturbates so they're super loose but I don't do that shit. Yeah, I I'm an keep honest myself person. Pure. I don't masturbate. And I'm honest. You don't at all? No. Bitch, really? I tried it a few times. Didn't like the result. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm Bro, any sexual before you have really... sex, make sure you... Okay, if you're gonna have sex with a whore, make sure you masturbate. I'm not having sex with any whore. I'm having sex with a woman I love. And if I'm not going to have a woman I love, then fuck my life. Like I said, if I'm done with this relationship, I might become gay because I don't fucking want to be in a freaking lifestyle where I can't date this girl that I'm with because she's awesome. You having fun? See, why people smoke weed instead of taking edibles is the effect is instant. Edibles, if you do not eat anything, if you have nothing in your system, no food, edibles will not kick in as hard. So if you ever take edibles, make sure 
even if you have like two apples in your system, they'll still kick in. You just gotta have something in your system for it to kick in. I learned that the hard way because I used to be anorexic and I would try to take edibles and they wouldn't work and I spent so much money. I spent like $200 on edibles and I didn't even feel them. I did sometimes. In my psychology class, I was walking and I tripped over a bag and I didn't see it for some reason. And the chair, we have metal chairs. And guess where it hit? Right here. Right in the middle. Right on my rib cage. And I was like, ah, shit. And the teacher's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. She's like, this is why we got to keep our backpacks. And like behind, underneath the desk. And I'm like, yep. All right, so yeah, you broke your rib cage. So why were you anorexic? I didn't break my rib cage, and I was bullied a lot. And eventually, oh my God, Reed. I was call like, my phone. girls would call me ugly, and eventually, I didn't let it bother me. And whenever they couldn't call me ugly or stupid anymore, they started calling me fat. And this is whenever I was growing taller. And I could squeeze some skin. And they're like, if you can squeeze skin on your waist, that means you're fat. So I believed it because I was young and I was getting told that. Oh, yeah, well, if, if you, you can't get told squeeze something, skin, then you're anorexic as fuck and you're going to die soon. So yeah, off, like, and then I just, like, stopped eating and... Sometimes I skip, like, one meal, but I'm better now. I, Because I learned if you starve yourself, your body goes in survival mode, and it eats, like, it saves its fats. And yeah, when know, you yeah, eat that's... again, you just get fatter. Unless if you eat, like, a cracker. Anorexia is something that's full-time. You have to do it for the rest of your life. Also, sorry, this pimple is so bad. Uh, anorexia ain't that bad, bro. You just gotta deal with it, and then eventually it goes away. And I know that's hard for you to hear, but it's just a freaking condition that you have to just fix your mindset on. You force I still to... have really bad self-confidence. I'm uh, just now starting to um, feel right. more confident. I used to not wear bikinis. I'll wear bikinis in public now. Why? Because I thought I was so fat. <laughs> I wouldn't even go swimming. Like, I know I'm not fat. Like... I'm not, like, super, super skinny. I'm skinny, but I'm not severely skinny, and that's okay. I don't need to be. I found that out. I found it out the hard way, but I needed to find it out. Okay. I told my friend Reed, I can text me. He said to call, so I'm not going to answer his calls. Being a dumbass. He literally texted me and then he just called me on Discord. You doing okay? I realized how long I've been talking, yeah. My phone's at 27, it was at 60, Jesus fuck. Have I've been out of the house for like 30 minutes. Have you enjoyed talking or no? Yeah, I am. Like, this is what weed does. It, like, some people think weed is more of a social thing. And in my opinion, if you're depressed, it is. Like, if I'm really upset, I won't smoke weed because I know it's not going to do anything for me. But if I'm really depressed and if I'm with people, I'll smoke weed.
Okay, we're gonna smoke a really big bowl. Then I gotta go. Well, I don't got go like off the phone. I just gotta leave this spot. You wanna see how pretty this is? What? Especially at sunset. So, um, the yellow stuff on the ground, those are daisies. They're right now growing in. I was on acid whenever I came here. You see how pretty this is? Mm, and all the like bags of weed. I just remember. I don't one. know if you can see that can of alcohol, but it's right there. That had vodka in it. Vodka soda. I just freaking. This is to wash my hands. There's no world for me unless it's in Red Dead. If you ever get Red Dead, you'll understand why it's literally a fucking perfect game. Love and the world laughs with you. I do. And you weep it's my second my favorite game. For the sad old earth must disc, borrow its he wants me to pay but has trouble enough of its he's own. He's at the age that Ella I, Weaver like, Wilcox. he's 14. Almost 15. Well, so he's, like... Are you 15 still? No, he's... I'm 16. Sorry, he's 15, almost 16. No, 14 almost 15. Yeah, 14 almost 15. And he's so at that age where he's starting to experiment with stuff. Wait, wait how instead old are you? Of, I'm 16. I'm going to be 17 soon. But okay, instead I'm, of... Um, Erica. Instead of, like... One second, let me finish. Instead of, like, being all, like... Oh... Yeah, I'll just give you the game because he's better by far that you should forget and, and smile. And he's like, you should if you remember pay me, sad. or if you give me weed, and I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. But I don't mind sharing my shit with him. We share all the time. I forgot. Like, if how I go to his was. house, I'll be like, hey, I can't bring anything this time. If you like, I'll I got you next time, and he'll be like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Red Dead is my second favorite game. It's world is fantastic, and it just fucking overpowers me. The only bad part is the fact that what I thought online was huge, but really it's just their server sucks, so if you have over 12 people in a server, it's gonna fucking break, so it was really stupid by that. They need to make it where you can have a lot more people. You can still hear me, right? Give me one sec. What are you doing? Recording myself. Why? Because I, want, I think I look cute right now, and mm. I never think that. You're not an ugly person, Erica. I just know that. Thank you. I'm saying that as a friend. I'm not flirting with you, okay? I know. I know. Jack has a knack of flirting with people and it annoys the shit out of me. You know what I'm talking about. Remember he wanted your sister? Such. And Jack still bothers me on the fact that he says he doesn't want a girlfriend, he just wants a chick to suck his dick. Dang. Something filled up my heart with nothing. Someone told me not to cry. Now that I'm older, my heart's colder. I can see that it's a lie. Bennett, you're gonna make the me cry. Fire. I literally keep go fucking tripping after I get to this part. And I'm so close to beating it, I just freaking fall. I gotta take that part slower. And just get on that hook. That way I can freaking get back to that mountain. Because I'm literally at the end. I'm like freaking right under it. I hate you, Bennett, but I love you so fucking much for making other people hate you. I literally was almost at the end about it, literally an hour ago with you, or friggin' 30 minutes, and... Not gonna lie, if you didn't end up ca calling me, I was gonna fucking quit this game and freaking be depressed about it, but I've gotten so far and I can't give up now for all the market players in the world. And all the other time. I literally told her to call my phone like a fucking prayer. Hey. 
Hey, I almost coughed. That doesn't happen. <laughs> Give me power. Oh, come on. Dick, dick, dick. You gonna finally... You gonna find someone new to date and then be loyal? Erica? Huh? You gonna find someone new to date and then be loyal? Can you even hear me? I can. Um, I'm not getting in a relationship until, like, junior year towards prom. Why? Everybody's so fake. Yeah, well, you have to find a person. Oh, that's just a bird, Jesus. <sighs> if you ever find, scared me. If I ever find a true gamer to date, date them. Gamers are fucking epic, and if you find someone that's worthy, freaking ever let them go. Ain't no one worthy of my love. Shut up, just because you put out too much. No, it's just because I'm too much of a handful. What do you mean? Do you know how much of a bitch I can be? I gotta be loving to the person that you're dating. Does your parents know you smoke? Uh, yeah, they just really don't do anything about it. They just say don't smoke in the house? Yeah. Well, my mom doesn't care. She honestly would rather me smoke in the backyard, but my dad doesn't let me at all. He knows I do, but He's a red he man. can't do anything if he doesn't find it or catch me. Your dad's a dirty redneck. Indeed. My dad is just under the bar from Redneck, but he's really ignorant and he also looks down upon people with less wealth than him, despite all his attempts saying about how nice he is to other people. If I had a lot of money like him and this happened, I'd freaking help my friends, you know? They were less fortunate. Yeah. My dad is not so kind. I freaking. I ended up Sorry, like this. Fucking neighbors. I hate, hate them so much. I hate all my neighbors to be honest. But you're a criminal, Erica. They're afraid of you stabbing them. I know, but like they're literally just watching me. And they keep on coming close to me. I see you. I hear you. Can they hear you talking to them? Yeah. That's why they came over here. You want some? Is that what you said to them? Yeah. They're kids. They're little kids. I, they've seen me smoke before. They just tell their parents. I don't think their parents do anything because they think... Damn, come on. Uh, this game is freaking starting to bother you. Just eat it already. Freaking, I gotta power up my arms. I freaking flex that way the muscles freaking get locked into each other. <sighs> I started watching The Social Network last night. You know what that is? Do you watch any TV shows or movies? Dude. Freaking. Sorry, I was hitting my shit. Um, sometimes. You know what the social network is? It's the Mark Zuckerberg Facebook movie. Yeah, sorry. Anytime a car drives by, I have to, like, like, suck in all the smoke so that it doesn't fly up. Because as long as I'm sucking it in, it doesn't fly off the weed. Damn it. I can't believe this game... It I can't believe the mouse I bought came with a sniper button, which lowers the freaking sensitivity with, to its lowest setting. Oh, come on. I used to play on my PC with max freaking sensitivity, so I could be better than everyone else. But I just and that was because I had a really small mouse pad. 
Now that I lowered the sensitivity, I freaking became a lot better. Nice. Sorry. I'm like really focused on this. I'm right now editing something. My arms are really fucking tired. My shoulders are freaking getting damaged. Come on. Come on. Ah. I'll send it to you. Oh, Bennett, this is really tiring. Okay. My arms. Ah. I don't know how long it had been since Axel and Jack talked, and I kind of liked how they didn't talk for a while. But, I don't know, they might be talking more now. Axel is awesome, but sometimes she's not as sweet and innocent as she portrays. Like, she's doing some crazy stuff with people now, and I'm hoping that she goes back to her normal freaking kitty cat lady self. Yeah, I noticed that she's kind of changed. I know. I'm like, Axel, why are you acting different? And she's like, am I acting different? Or is, or did you really just not know that I was like this? I was like, buddy. Hold on, let me call you right back. My friend might need a ride. Like, she needs to be picked up, I think. And I'm going to see what's up. And see, like, if... Because if it's something like she wants to be Ubered home, I'm not going to do it. But if she might want to just come here for a bit, I'm going to see if I can do it. I'll call you right back. Right. Actor boy, track four. Got you in my tractor beam. Three. I freaking saw this one, um, freaking guys. I saw this freaking YouTube video of uh, what's it called? And basically, the thing about the video was that it was the scene of Ray getting freaking ghosts in her head, and I love that scene because. It just was freaking everything that I wanted in the movie. And it was actually my favorite scene in the Star Wars movie because, like, right after, right before it had Darth Sidious do the lightning, I loved. And it's just really cool. And this guy edited the video so where it shows all the people that did it, but he did it in a really good way. And, yeah, I liked it. And, um, yeah. He did it really well. I complimented him, and he actually liked my comment. And, yeah. Hello? Bro, I swear to god I'm not picking my nose, I'm picking out all the white stuff that's stuck from these pills. It's because you've been smoking a lot of shit. No, because I've been snorting. Look at that. Adderall and fucking clumps of whatever. Of CD30, I think. <laughs> you nasty sometimes, motherfucker. <clears throat> See, now I taste it again. You just stop doing stuff to your body. You killed it. Yeah, I'm getting off pills for good. Some bad habits that we'd be born with. Like, I freaking bite my lips and I'm gonna freaking stop doing that because. You know? No. This is really gross, but I picked my scabs. I did that too. I freaking try and stop it, but it's sometimes addictive, it's you know? It's just too addictive. Yeah. It's just the pain for me. Uh, I just don't. It irritates my skin having it there. But I gotta. I just. I like, if it wasn't there and I didn't feel it at all, then I wouldn't do anything. But it's just since pain receptors make my skin tingly. Same. It's just annoying. 
I like the texture. I like feeling like the bumpiness of it, but I just like peeling it. It's satisfying. Yeah, I can agree with that. I just, I don't like having my skin ruined like that. I just, that's why I hate freaking popping pimples because sometimes it turns into a scab. Oh, I hate popping pimples. I just want to freaking get some good old fashioned Dawn pimples for life and then I'm freaking tasty. I'm gonna smoke another. Fuck it. Freaking nasty. See, smoke. during quarantine, I've been smoking a lot more. I never smoke this much. I barely smoke like once a day. I smoke once a day, actually. Once a day, if not every other day. And if I don't have shit, then not at all. Like, once this shit runs out, no. fucking. I'm gonna have no more shit for a while. So. People need to stop being like, oh, you're hurting yourself. I love chemistry, it's a fun class, but ever since I've been out of it and I've been doing online stuff, I have not been understanding it as much because right before I was slipping a little bit, but I wanted to fix myself. And I can do some of the work, but when it comes to the test, I just don't do well. Wait, so what do you do whenever girls send you nudes? Do you just, like, admire them? That was random. What do you mean? Because you said that you don't masturbate. Who sends me nudes? I'm just saying in general, like, if a girl ever sends you nudes, like, what do you do? Do you, like, masturbate? Do you... No. Admire? I guess I admire, but I don't get sent nudes, because I tell all the people I've dated, don't send me nudes. Hey, yo, can I drop my phone number? Because my uh, Discord's draining my battery too quick, and I need to be able to have enough battery to text my mom if she right. texts me. You can text me on your number, but... Um, here, I'm going to just tell you it, because I'm right nah, now packing this uh, bowl. No, nah, just text it to me, bro. I won't remember. Bro. Bro. Just text it, fucker. But yeah, I only be on. All right, I guess I'll talk to you later. What's my phone number? Yeah, no, call me right now. Just call me like a f actual phone call. I can't. My phone be glitching today. I'm on call with someone else already, bro. No, hang up this call. I mean, on my phone. So that's why I chose Discord because I couldn't hang up the phone call to go on Snap. J give me your number and let me try to call you. No. <laughs> Just talk to me later. Okay, then I'm gonna wait till my phone's at 5% because I like having people with me. Okay. My neck hurts. I feel like a bitch. Come on! The I've been doing this for two hours. Just freaking playing Get Over It from the beginning. And I was fucking so good. No oh my god. I just can't deal with the momentum carry. I just I grab the thing and I have to just not move. Okay, my... yeah, that's a fire truck. I thought it was a policeman because if it, uh, I was a police officer, I was just gonna put this back. I wasn't gonna risk it, but it's a fire truck. It's because people are complaining about your smoking that they think a house is on fire and it's been that by a weed. No, it smells like weed. They wouldn't call a fire department for that. They'd call a police officer. Come on, Bennett. As your chance to win this thing. I fucking hate being on this mission for so long. Come on, this is my chance to beat this fucking game. I'm fucking taking it. No. Dick! I stand amid the roar of a surf tormented shore. I hate you, Bennett. Shore, I fucking and I hate you. I hold within my hand grains of Fuck the you, golden Bennett. sand. Fuck you, Bennett. Fuck you. How few. Yet oh. how they creep through my fingers to the deep while I I'm weep. I'm starting to freak out, while I but weep. I'm not getting, like, a panic attack. Oh, I'm not God. like that. Can I not grasp them with a tighter clasp? Yeah, they were Can getting I not closer, save but now they're getting one farther. from the pitiless wave? Is all that we see okay, yeah, or stopped. seem but a dream within Probably a dream? Probably by 92nd Street. Edgar Allan Poe. I'm on 85th. That's, like, a mile or two away from me. This is so gay, Mr. Freaking Bennett. I just want you to be normal. Just fucking get on that snowball. Get that fucking bucket. 
and climb that bitch ass mountain. Don't you fucking. Are you playing Friday? No, no, I'm on freaking Get Over It. And I've been doing this for two hours straight. I swear to God, I heard like the noise when Jason grabs someone. It must have been uh, one of the noises from your game. Uh, I don't know the noises from Get Over It. Fucking doing this slow now. Bennett, you got this, you fucking dick. Okay, come on, bro. Come on, I swear to God, if you fuck this up, I'm gonna kill you. I'm not gonna do shit. He knows it. Okay, come on, bro. Okay, come on. Can Dang. I see another's woe and not be in ah, sorrow too? Dick. Can I see another's grief and not seek for kind relief? Okay. William Blake. Blake. Oh, oh my god. He See, the only down part about this is there's a trail, and you can see, like, look at the camera really quick. There's a trail right there. See that house? There's yeah. a trail, and you can see through the branches. Yeah. And if I sit right there, then I don't want to risk the kids who are playing around outside to see me and tell their parents. And it fucking hates me. He does. Okay, I'm at 2%. I'll call you back. Alright, have a good day, Erica. I'm gonna call you back the second I get home. Alright. I'm Bennett. Fucking dickhead, but now that we're alone. I think we're alone now. Everything we do seems to be just us. Come on, Bennett. Me and you. Come on, bro. No, 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 no. Dave! Fucking doing this with me. I'm gonna talk to Bennett. Fucking get this shit done. I'm just gonna sausage that. I fucking hate you. Fuck you, Bennett. Oh, Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy. Bennett Foddy. Bennett. This fucking shit like a fucking king. That's a small boy. <sighs> no, you're not fucking. No! In the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. Alright. Alright, I'm I can't do it. I can't do it. Fuck you, Bennett. Alright guys, this has been a part one. And you know I'm gonna fucking kick your ass in part two, Bennett. I'm gonna fuck you, bro. Alright guys, peace out. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm gonna go fucking do some weird shit. You might not have it there for the next episode, but I love y'all. Peace!